This is Steve, High Performance Systems, taking a look at our current project. Um, what we've got is a couple of existing uh, coolers, and their problem right now is that the, their topping material, uh, sheet good, is actually, um, the bond is coming loose and harboring a lot of water underneath this cooler, which is obviously creating uh, an area to create bacteria and mold and just not, not exactly the easiest to clean areas. Um, so a couple of things that we're encountering on this project are the, um, the temperature. They have to raise the temperature for these coolers so that we can provide our installation team um, the adequate uh, temperatures for our materials to bond and everything. So we're looking at a one day turnaround. Um, I'm gonna show you the, the existing right here. Uh, what they've got is the, the box of the cooler or the, the bottom of the, the metal here is the actual cooler. Beneath that, we're looking at styrofoam for the insulation of the, the cooler itself. And then looking at our delaminated topping material, which is a uh, sheet good. Uh, our approach is going to be to remove that sheet good, uh, reinforce the, the bottom of this cooler uh, by using some um, sheet metal screws into the, the subfloor and then putting a Duroc um, subfloor down and then ultimately using a cement urethane resin to allow for a uh, permanent long-term solution uh, for their flooring of this cooler. Uh, beyond that, we're gonna be installing, as they show here, some uh, radial cove to make sure that it's of the highest food and safety standards, easy to clean and providing their staff with majority of their time on uh, production rather than cleanup and a chemical resistant cement urethane top coat to combat any temperature changes within these blast chillers. For more projects in this finished project, you can visit us at www.highperformancesystems.com. That's H-I-G-H, performance systems, plural, S-Y-S-T-E-M-S.com.